The 70s gave us Earth Day and the EPA. We achieved peace with honor while eating a Big Mac and fries. We were wearing Earth shoes, Levi's, halter tops, and sitting on beanbag chairs on shag rugs with Pringles and a tab, glued to the TV, watching the Brady Bunch, all in the family, and creating even more ideas and innovations. In the early 70s, our work at Crec grew exponentially. The hearing impaired program, started back in 1966, became part of Crec. Its underlying purpose was to integrate these youngsters for them to be in classrooms. It reduced the isolation of those kids, which is an underlying theme, I think, that CREC has, has followed over the years. And the program was started because a group of parents wanted their hearing impaired children to learn to talk. It was during the rubella epidemic, and the parents were very, very committed to starting a program. The first successful alternative high school, the Shanti School, was also taking place in Hartford's Union Station. Crack Central soon outgrew its home in Wethersfield and moved to the Roger Wolcott School Annex in Windsor. I go back and think of the places where Crack had its headquarters. Uh, the first one that I remember was in Windsor. And uh, I think we can all tell wonderful stories about the places that Crack has occupied, some of them horrible, uh, some of them moderately acceptable, and now finally palatial. Back then, it was, we, we were flying by the seat of our pants. We just, we, everything stayed together with glue and nails. And today, we've come 100% uh, round in that. Now we're permanent. Now everything is in place. In 1973, the River Street School also became a part of CREC, providing special education to children with autism. River Street is like an oasis in the sand. Uh, parents who have had great difficulties having any kind of success with their kids find success with their youngsters at the River Street School. Suddenly, we were on the move again. Our Windsor home was torn down, so we decamped to 800 Cottage Grove Road in Bloomfield. From 1976 to 1981, we saw a number of new programs flourish. With a $1.6 million state grant, we were able to create what is now the John J. Allison Jr. Polaris Center in East Hartford. In addition, the Center for Creative Youth was founded, giving high school students the opportunity to take part in the creative arts while learning during summers on the campus of Wesleyan University in Middletown. The preschool intervention program, Project Child Find, and the Early Childhood Special Education Network were programs founded during this time to help youngsters and their families get a head start in education. Amidst all this growth, our headquarters were on the move once again. This time, we joined the day treatment service at Aiken School in West Hartford. At that time, in the late 80s, I was doing so many moves for CREC. We, were, we had a pickup truck and we were moving programs. We were renting space. Every year we were changing, and I went to John and said, John, I think what we should do is change the, the tack line to always on the move in education. And John thought, he went along with it, but it didn't get approved. 